Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing my thoughts on the recent announcement stating that Tom Cruise has officially signed on to appear in the Mummy reboot, along with uh, Sofia Butella presumably playing the role of the Mummy itself. So, uh, for the longest time, these were just rumors that uh, Cruise would be appearing in the Mummy remake. And, uh, you know, Universal or his agent released a statement a few months ago saying these uh, reports are false. They are not accurate. Uh, they're just rumors. Tom Cruise is not going to be appearing in the film. Uh, and that was a few months ago. And the other rumor is that Sofia Butella, who recently appeared in Kingsman, The Secret Service, and will star in the upcoming Star Trek Beyond, will be playing, could be playing the role of the mummy. Excuse me. So uh, that is so that w that was the last uh, thing we heard about this until earlier today. Universal Studios announced that yes, indeed, the Mummy remake is happening, and Tom Cruise and Sofia Boutella are officially on board to star in it. So uh, that movie will probably be getting underway relatively soon. And also on on that note, uh, the release date was changed from March twenty fourth of twenty seventeen to June. 7th uh i mean june 9th of 2017 that's uh so they've just been bumped up it's been bumped up to like uh, three more months so not a huge major change but uh wh why that is pr the reason for that being is probably because uh now that they've got at least two actors on board the script uh to my understanding is finished so uh that is so that is what they're uh, so that so they have that to uh, work with, and uh, the two actors are now on board with that. So they're probably going to start casting all of the other roles as well, and it leads people to wonder and speculate: Could other Universal monsters pop in during the Mummy movie and make a brief cameo appearance, or have a big role or presence in the film? Who knows? That probably won't be the case for this particular film. Universal has made it clear that their shared cinematic universe, in this case, the MonsterVerse, as I'm calling it. Uh, I'm not taking credit for that. That's just what I'm referring to it as. Uh, their shared cinematic universe regard revolving around the Universal Monsters. They will. Some of them will pop into each other's movie from time to time so they'll probably each get a solo film or most of them will and the others won't well that where they'll just appear in each other's movies because they're probably uh themed similar similar they're similar to each other and themed along the same lines of storylines and origin story and whatnot like for example you know the bride of frankenstein and the frankenstein monster don't need their own solo films they can just be uh put together in one movie you know, stuff like that. Dracula could have, you know, Dracula already had his movie, so he could appear in Wolfman's solo movie, perhaps. And uh, now that Sofia Botella has definitely been announced a uh, cast playing the mummy, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it, it's got me really excited now because it's like, you know, it's going to be really interesting to watch an interaction between her and Luke Evans' Dracula, Luke Evans who played uh, Dracula in the recent film Dracula Untold and uh, was also in, uh, you know, recently, well, to about, about a couple years ago was the villain in The Fast and Furious 6. Uh, that actor, uh, he will uh, be, he will be presumably presumably excuse me be playing dracula in the future uh universal monster installments and how he and uh, sophia butella's mummy will interact with each other and how they'll have screen time together is a very intriguing and kind of exciting idea to me so i'm looking forward to that no idea who tom cruise could play uh recent uh story you know the the plot summary, at least on IMDb, is brief, and it could be totally inaccurate, but at the same time, it's the only one we've got, so it's the one people have been going off of. It's the story about a Navy SEAL who discovers an ancient buried life or evil uh, that uh, in the bottom of a pyramid in Egypt or something like that and accidentally awakens this uh, ancient force 
and uh, it supposedly uh, uh, possesses his body or just comes back to life or something like that. We don't know how accurate that plot summary is. That could be totally false. So in a sense, we have no idea who Tom Cruise could be playing. It's most likely he'll be the leading man like he usually is in most of his movies. But uh, maybe he'll play a big supporting role and he's not the main character. I don't know. Probably some uh, explorer or uh, archaeologist who's investigating or the tomb or the pyramid where Sophia Butella's mummy is presumably buried. I don't know. Either way, this movie is definitely happening. So mark your calendars June 9th, 2017, next summer. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for more news on that topic. Moving on, in other movie news, it was announced the other day... Disney and Lucasfilm have decided to delay the release date for Star Wars Episode Eight to December 15th of 2017. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not like they're delaying it by a whole nother year or two years, God forbid. It's the same year, just, you know, like seven months later. So, yeah, the wait time is going to be strenuous and a gigantic pain in the ass. On the plus side, we will have our fill, we will have a good filler movie to keep us held over until episode 8. Uh, the, the first spinoff, Rogue One, is set to open in theaters December 16th of this year. And a year, basically a year from that date, December 15th, almost a year from that date, will be the opening day of uh, Star Wars Episode Eight. Originally, the uh, opening date was May 26th or 25th of 2017. However, Disney decided to make that, uh, to change that date to the release date for their new Pirates movie, the, a new Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Dead Men Tell No Tales or something like that. So... The Pirates movie will be taking the May slot for the release date, and that is why Star Wars Episode Eight was moved to December 15th of the same year. Now, this could be seen as a good thing as well. This means that the cast and crew will have every opportunity available to them to really take their time with this movie and make sure they are doing an excellent job. Not, not necessarily trying to outdo The Force Awakens, but definitely make it a good, worthwhile sequel to it. A next follow-up movie. So, I mean, I, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, from you know what Abrams said about praising Ryan Johnson's script, he said, I wish I was directing this movie. John Boyega, the guy who plays Finn, had a good reaction to it. So, so I'm not too worried about it. Am I bothered by the release date change? Yeah, a little bit. But at the same time, there's going to be a lot of great movies to see between now and December of 2017. So at least we have that to hold us over. Speaking of movie release dates, it was also announced earlier this week that uh, they have uh, they narrowed it down for a possible release date uh, during the week, during the month of July 2017 for... Yet again, <laughs> the Spider-Man reboot. Now, hopefully this will be the last origin story we will get for a very long time now that he's finally back at Marvel where he belongs. So, and because it is Marvel, they'll make this origin story, his solo movie, as enjoyable and as tolerable as possible. And when I say tolerable, I mean we've seen, an, uh, we've already seen two movies about a Spider-Man origin story. This will be the third one in almost 15 years my god the time has flown flown by anyway so uh that is the word uh that is what was released from sony and marvel earlier this week spider-man's uh solo film will be coming out july 17 between the dates of july 7th and through like july 7th through the 28th like any time in that range uh, during that timeline is when the movie would come out, when Spider-Man's movie would come out. So uh, stay tuned for more news on that. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's all the news I had to cover. And I hope you're excited about the upcoming uh, Mummy movie as much as I am. Uh, that movie is currently uh, starring Tom Cruise and Sophia Butella and will be directed by Alex Kurtzman, who's a big Hollywood blockbuster screenwriter and director. And that movie is coming from Universal Pictures and is set to be released June 9th, 2017. And uh, Star Wars Episode Eight is uh, going to be getting 
beginning production very shortly, and that film is now bumped to December 15th, 2017 release date. And stay tuned for more news regarding the release date for the Spider-Man reboot story. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the night. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get these updates on all the current information I just went over. So you guys can stay up to date on all of your movie and TV news. So click that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for more content and videos as we get closer to blockbuster season. And, uh, of course, uh, stay tuned for my review videos regarding the return of The Walking Dead next month and this Sunday night, the uh, uh, C series premiere of The X-Files on Fox. So watch out for them. All right, guys, have a great rest of the night. Thanks again for tuning in. And, of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.